Historically, Egypt has been recognized as a leading agricultural power. The industry has exploded in recent years with the construction of several mega fish farms around the nation. This has also resulted in an increase in fish output, which is excellent news for the Egyptian economy. The farms are able to provide the Egyptian market with fresh fish, which is already in short supply throughout the country. The new mega fish farms contribute to environmental improvement by creating a reliable supply of seafood. Most farm fish are given a vegetarian diet that eliminates the need for antibiotics and other potentially dangerous chemicals. As a result, Egypt's government is actively encouraging the expansion of the country's fish farming sector. To aid new farmers, the government has established a number of training programs and is also funding agricultural research and development projects. Egypt sees a lot of financial success from its fish farming industry, and the development of these new mega fish farms has contributed a lot to it as well. Here are 10 important things about Egypt's massive fish farms that you may not have known before. Number 10. They'll create employment opportunities. In a nation like Egypt, where unemployment rates have been consistently high for years, mega fish farms are a welcome source of new work. Professional fish farmers tend their fields in the Nile Delta. There is a national market for the farmed fish that is produced at these facilities. Mega fish farms provide their staff with an attractive salary and pleasant environments to do their jobs. The workers' basic needs, including those for housing, transportation, and medical care, are met by these corporations. They also provide their workers with training and development opportunities to help them grow professionally. Mega fish farms have a significant influence on the Egyptian economy and are providing job possibilities for many individuals who would not otherwise have them. Number 9. They'll boost the economy. Egyptian economic growth has slowed in recent years, but a new sector is showing promise. There has been a significant increase in exports and employment thanks to the development of mega fish farms. Egypt's fish farming business may be young, but it's already having a significant influence on the country's economy. In 2006, the first mega fish farm in the nation was constructed, and it has since provided work for over a thousand people. Annually, the farm produces over 80,000 tons of fish, all of which are sent to international markets. The industry's development is encouraging for Egypt's economy, which has suffered since the revolution in 2011. More employment and foreign exchange might be on the horizon as the industry expands in the coming years. Number 8. They'll be using cutting-edge technologies. Mega fish farms in Egypt are utilizing the newest technologies to improve fish output. The new facilities are employing recirculating aquaculture systems, which will allow them to produce more fish with less water and fewer chemicals. The RAS technology was initially created in the 1970s, but it was not until the 1990s that it started to be deployed on a commercial basis. The new mega fish farms are the first to employ RAS in Egypt. The fish farmers in Egypt claim that RAS allows them to produce healthier fish at a higher rate than they could using conventional techniques of fish farming. In a regular fish farm, only 10 to 15 percent of the fish survive to maturity. However, in an RAS facility, up to 95 percent of the fish can survive. Number 7. They'll be using modern methods. The increasing demand for fish is being met by mega fish farms, which are large-scale commercial operations. A large quantity of fish is produced using modern methods. When it comes to farmed fish, Egypt, without a doubt, is a global leader. Many people throughout the globe rely on farmed fish for their daily nutritional needs. Because of its minimal fat and calorie content, it serves as a healthy and cost-effective protein option. The heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids may be found in abundance in farmed fish as well. Ultra-modern mega fish farms are responsible for mass-producing fish using modern techniques. The use of tanks or ponds or pellets or live bait for the fish and chemicals to regulate water quality and prevent diseases are all examples of these techniques. While there are numerous advantages to farmed fish, 
but there are also certain dangers linked to industrial scale farming. Number 6. They will be responsible to farm a variety of fish. Tilapia is the most widely consumed variety of farmed fish in Egypt. Many other species, such as catfish, mullet, and barramundi, are also cultivated in Egyptian fisheries. The Nile Delta is home to the vast majority of Egypt's fish farms. The water and environment here are perfect for fish aquaculture. Since the Nile's waters are warm and nutrient-rich, they are ideal for fish farming. There has been significant investment in mega fish farms by the Egyptian government in recent years. This is mainly because of the rising popularity of fish dishes throughout the nation. Number 5. They will save resources. In order to save energy and reduce waste, the mega fish farms will use a number of different strategies. The water system will be closed loop, allowing for reuse, while the garbage system will collect and recycle the waste for use as fertilizer. To further lessen their impact on the environment, the farms will also use solar technology and other sustainable energy sources. The Egyptian government is hopeful that the mega fish farms will be profitable and useful in securing Egypt's food supply for the foreseeable future. Number 4. They'll increase production. Egypt's productivity will expand dramatically with the introduction of mega fish farms. The nation will be able to offer more fish for its expanding population, which is excellent news. These fish farms are now being constructed in an area close to Lake Nasser, one of the world's biggest freshwater lakes. The Egyptian government has taken a step in the right direction since this would increase food availability in the nation. These mega fish farms will help the Egyptian people in the long run because of their modern technologies and huge outputs. Number 3. They will reduce disease risk. Mega fish farms in Egypt, according to recent research, have the potential to lower disease risk. Scientists from the University of California Davis examined three sizes of fish farms in Egypt for their study small, medium, and gigantic. Disease prevalence was found to be much lower on mega-scale farms compared to the other two kinds of farms studied, likely because mega-farms have a better handle on regulating the conditions that might spark illness. These farms also have more tools at their disposal, including more advanced diagnostic equipment to promptly identify and treat any illnesses that do pop up. Number 2 they will not depend on environmental conditions. Conditions in the surrounding environment will not influence the functioning of the mega fish farms in Egypt, because the fish farms will have their own water treatment and power generating facilities, they will be completely independent of the water and electrical infrastructure in the surrounding area. This is excellent news for the Egyptian economy since it will result in the creation of new employment and the attraction of fresh investment from the outside world. Number 1. They will be the future of fish farming. In order to become one of the world's top producers of fish, the Egyptian government is making significant investments in fish farming. Massive fish farms, which have the potential of an annual output of up to 100,000 metric tons, are now under construction. The Egyptian administration sees this as a massive challenge, but it is convinced they can overcome it. The nation has a strong tradition of agricultural success, and it anticipates the same for fish farming. Egypt relies largely on imports to meet its annual seafood need, thus the success of the mega fish farms is important. It would be a huge boom for Egypt's economy if fish production from these farms could satisfy the global as well as local demand. Also, it would mean that these fish farms would be the future of the aquaculture industry.